your producer. Maybe you feel like your beats are feeling a little stiff, maybe a little too robotic, and you're trying to find a quick and easy way to add life to them. My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, Anishi and Christ follower, and today I'm going to teach you how to add swing to your drums by using Machine inside of Logic Pro 10. El Marquis Productions. Hello fellow bedroom producers, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing me, I make videos to give advice to artists and producers all around the world. I also make tutorial videos mainly on Logic Pro 10. I break down my beat making and songwriting process, and also I do product reviews. So if any of that interests you, I need you to do me a really quick favor, go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications so that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video like this, and you'll help other people with similar interests as you see more videos like this. Got that out of the way? Bet. Let's get into the video. Before we get into the main topic of this video, I want to say a big thank you to Disho Kid for sponsoring my channel for the month of May. All throughout this month, I've been highlighting some of my favorite features about Disho Kid, and the feature that I want to highlight today is actually being able to monetize cover songs. We're going to get into that later on in the video, so stay tuned if you or maybe an artist that you know would like to know how you can legally monetize cover songs. So maybe right now you're used to always quantizing your beats and making them perfectly on grid. And depending on the type of music that you make maybe it doesn't sound good with that particular genre or maybe you're trying to find a new way to make your beat sound a little bit more interesting maybe not as predictable an easy way to do that is by adding swing to your beats now hey wait a minute what swing? Basically, when you add swing to a particular instrument, it's grooving in a way that's not perfectly on beat. For example, here's a really basic drum pattern that is perfectly quantized. Here's another really basic drum pattern that has some swing to it. And you don't necessarily need to add swing to every single beat that you make. You also don't need all of your beats or even all of the instruments inside of your beat to always be perfectly on grid. It really just depends on your personal style as well as the context of the specific song or beat that you're working on. So now I'm going to go switch over to the computer and I'll show you how to quickly add swing to your drums by using Machine inside of Logic Pro 10. So now we are in Logic Pro 10. I have a lo-fi song that I made pulled up right now called Dust Bowl. This is a song where I swung my drums instead of having them perfectly quantized to the beat. I'll play this section of the song that we'll be analyzing right now. So if you pay close attention to the drums, you may notice that they're not perfectly on beat, which is on purpose. In fact, I will solo the drums and I'll turn the metronome on so you can really hear what's going on. So they're not crazy off beat, they're just slightly off of the grid. So now I'm gonna open up the pattern that they are in the machine. By the way, I made a free template that basically allows you to use machine inside of Logic. Inside of this template, it routes all 16 pads on the machine controller to trigger 16 different tracks within Logic. I did make a video where you can check out how to create this template for yourself, and you can find that for yourself by clicking that card in the corner right there. And also that video will teach you how to use this template. And if you would like to download it for yourself so that you can just open up the template, have machine ready to go, and then also still have the ability to add other instruments all inside of Logic, there's a free download link for this template in the description below. So there are a few different ways that you can add swing to your drums. In my opinion, the easiest way, and the way that I do pretty much every time that I do want to add swing to drums is by playing them without quantizing them. A lot of producers will quantize every single thing that they do, which doesn't necessarily sound bad. However, if you're working in a genre like certain styles of hip hop, boom bap, lo-fi, jazz, rock music, where maybe you're looking for more of a live feel and if you want more of a groove instead of everything to be perfectly on beat, then if you record your tracks yourself, if you play them yourself, and then if you just don't quantize them, the patterns will play in your natural human rhythm and that will automatically give it its own swing. And that's exactly what I did 
did when I made this drum pattern. So I did make a video that talked about quantizing in greater detail. So you also can go in the corner and check that video out as well. So in order to make sure your drums are not quantized in machine, you can do two different things. The first thing would be to go onto your machine controller, click settings, and then navigate to the page that says settings. And then where it says quantize mode play slash record, switch it to none. So on the other mode where it says play slash record, which is where my machine at the very least, as well as the machine that's included in my template, that's where it's set by default. So whenever you play a pattern, it automatically quantizes to the note value that you set it to but then if you turn it to none then it will not automatically quantize and the rhythm you hear back will be the exact rhythm that you played the other way that you can do this is let's say you do have it set to play slash record all you would need to do is turn that grid off and then just to be safe i set it to 1 over 128 so that way i know for sure that it's not quantizing and then i just hit record and play it as i naturally would so as a matter of fact i'll open up a blank pattern and i'll just recreate that drum pattern again for now i'm just going going to do this kick in the snare pattern. And then from right there, you pretty much actually could be done with it right there. If you're happy with the part that you just laid down, you actually don't have to do anything else from there. And then you will be done, which is why I say that this is the quickest way to add swing to your drums. Now, however, if you don't like the performance that you did, you can still go down. And if you want to, you could quantize some of those hits perfectly to the grid if you wanted to. So if you still want to maintain most of that swing, what you could do is turn on the grid, put it on, let's say, 16th note and then go to your machine controller hold shift and then click pad number six so by hitting shift and pad number six that quantizes your patterns by 50 percent so all of them aren't perfectly right on the grid but they will be closer to the grid so that way there is still swing it is a little bit more locked in i'll hit edit undo other thing that you also can do is just manually nudge some of the notes over and you can do that by first of all making sure that the grid is unclicked and then you can either use your mouse to move the notes over yourself like this or you also can click on it and then go to the machine controller and hold shift and pad number eight to move it to the right so now you can see it's slightly moving over to the right or you can hold shift and pad number seven to move it slightly to the left and that will also add some swing and some groove to your patterns i normally use the nudge on the machine controller itself because that way it moves it over slowly and slightly so i can make really slight adjustments rather than maybe dragging it a bit over too much and then i make a mistake and now that's probably not going to want to like how that sounds and then i would go through and do that exact same thing for the rest of the pads that i would like to place down do you or any artists that you work with make cover songs did you know that there's actually a legal way for you to monetize your cover songs if you're a member of distro kid they actually offer a service where you can obtain a cover song license and that way you're actually able to legally upload your cover songs to Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, TikTok, and still make money off of them. And of course, the original songwriters will be compensated as well. So if you have a fire Drake song on a YouTube channel that's been blowing up, and if you really wish that you could upload that song to Spotify and Apple Music so that way more people can listen to it and also maybe generate a little bit of revenue for yourself, you can upload your Drake cover song or any cover song for that matter through DistroKid, obtain a cover song license, and then you will have the ability to put your cover song on all major music streaming platforms if you yourself make covers if you're thinking about making covers or if there are artists that you work with who like to make covers if you are a member of distro kid they do offer a service that allows you to obtain a cover song license so you can legally upload and monetize your cover songs distro kid starts at $19.99 per year to upload an unlimited amount of songs to all major music streaming platforms and then if you want to take advantage of this feature it costs $12 a year per song which is still very affordable considering that one is an annual price and two you have the potential to make that money back and actually even way more money than that if your songs sell or stream a lot if you have a huge catalog that generates a lot of revenue or with any other opportunities that may come your way if you're not already a member of DistroKid, i would greatly appreciate it if you used my affiliate link which can be found in the description of this video if you use that affiliate link you'll actually get a seven percent discount off of your first year with DistroKid. and also to be fully transparent if you do use that affiliate link i will 
will get a percentage of that sale. And of course that revenue will actually be reinvested back into my business. So that way I'm still able to put out educational videos like this, as well as my own music. So if you're a producer or if you're an artist who would like to upload an unlimited amount of music to all the major music streaming platforms, as well as maintaining 100% of your royalties. And also if you would like to upload cover songs and monetize them and actually be able to quickly and easily get a cover song license for them, I would highly recommend that you sign up with DistroKid today. So now there's another technique that you also can use to add swing to your patterns. But let's say you're someone who doesn't like to play your patterns on the machine controller or on your keyboard. Maybe you're someone who likes to click in your notes or maybe you just don't have a strong sense of rhythm. So you can actually add swing to your patterns through the machine software itself. So now I'm going to clear this pattern and I'm going to duplicate my original pattern. So now here's my original pattern. Right now it's currently unquantized. Now I'm going to go ahead and quantize it. So I'll click the grid right here. It's on 1 16th, that should be good enough. Then I'll hold shift on the machine controller and then click pad number five. So now it's perfectly on beat. So that's how the drums would sound if they were perfectly on beat. And that doesn't sound bad necessarily, but I would just prefer it if they were a little bit off grid and felt a bit more natural, like a human played it instead of a robot. So what you can do from here to add swing through the machine software itself, you can affect either the entire machine project, a single group or a single sound. So if you wanted to affect the entire machine project, which would include every single group, A through H, if you used all of them, what you would do is go to your machine controller, click master, click the swing button, and then turn the encoder knob up until a point where it reaches a good level of swing. So just to exaggerate it, I'll turn it up to, let's go to 80%. In the context of this song, that's a bit too much. So let's dial that back to, let's, see, let's hear what 40% would sound like. That's cool, that's still grooving. Let's dial it back a little bit more. Let's hear what 15% sounds like. So that's cool, it does the job of adding swing. And right now, since it's on master, if I did use the other groups, that would affect the entire machine project as a whole. So now I'll turn that back down. So let's say if you did happen to use multiple groups inside of your machine project, let's say maybe you only want to affect a single group instead of the entire project. So what you would do is you would select the group. So this will be group A and you hold that on the machine controller, make sure the swing is selected and turn your encoder and that will affect the group A. But let's say you don't want to affect the entire group. Let's say you don't want to affect the entire project. Maybe you just want to swing one or two tracks within one single group. So in order to do that, what you'll do is you'll select the track that you want to add swing to. So let's say I only want to add swing to the kick drum. So what you'll do is hold pad one. In this case, since that's the pad that the kick is on, you will click on whichever pad you want to select for yourself. Make sure swing is selected and also be sure to hold down this pad and then turn the swing up to whatever level is comfortable for you. So just to make it really easy to hear, let's drag it up all the way to 100%. that's a bit much I think a more usable level will be a little bit lower for the context of this song let's try 30 percent even that's a little bit much for me and also it sounds a bit weird just to swing one element within the group instead of the group as a whole, at least to my ears anyways. Maybe that's a sound that you would like to go for if you just want to swing just one specific element 
or maybe two specific elements, maybe even every single element except one, I don't know. But that all depends on you. You do have the option to do that. I'm just presenting it for you. Now for me personally, the reason why I don't like swinging my drums that way is because to me at least, it gives a bit less control over where all the drums hit. Even when I am adding swing to my drums or even my melodic instruments, I still like being able to control exactly where they play. So by doing it in the software itself, yes, it can get the job done. I just prefer to have them swing with my own natural rhythm. And also a really big thing is specifically for people who use machine inside of Logic. After you export the MIDI data and create a blank pattern, so that way the machine sounds are just playing in Logic. If you still want to have the drum swing from the software itself, it's actually not going to do that. So in fact, let me pull out that pattern again, just so you can hear it. So I'll turn the swing on the group all the way up to 100% just so you can really hear it, even though it's going to sound a bit crazy. And now I want to put it on a blank pattern and have it just play in Logic. The swing is gone. And then the way to work around that, if you did like the swing that was being triggered from Machine, would be just to export each individual track as a wave file so let's go back to that pattern and also make sure that the swing is still on so if i did like the groove from the swing that's in the machine software you'll have to go through each individual pad and export it as a wave file so i'll go to the kick go to keyboard mode click this button right here which exports that track as a wave file drag it into logic and then that should play with the same swing that was attached to it. I'll open up that blank pattern again. And how about let's drag that over to where it's supposed to be in the song. And now I'll mute this kick and I'll solo the drums again as well as that one track. And then you would have to do that to each individual track. And that really wouldn't take that much time since you're probably going to be exporting between four, eight, and maybe a 16 bar pattern. For me personally, that's just not my preferred method of adding swing. I just prefer having it be as human as possible, which is by me just playing the pattern out myself and not quantizing it instead of just adding it in the software itself. But you still can get pretty usable results by using the swing function as well. It really is just depends on your personal preference your personal workflow, what gets specifically you the sound that you are looking for and what helps you work the fastest. As you can see, it is really easy to add swing to your drums. And really that's what you can do with any single instrument. I just wanted to show you how to do it specifically with drums so we could focus on one thing. And also that's how I specifically add swing to drums using machine. You can add swing to any of your tracks by doing that exact same thing just by playing them naturally and not quantizing them. Like if I go over here to my original bass track with the MIDI data inside of it, you can see that this bass is also slightly swung because it's not perfectly on grid. You see that right there? Didn't quantize it, came in a little early right there, came in a little late right there. And to me, that's the magic of this track in particular because if all of it played perfectly on beat, it wouldn't have grooved the same way. It would have felt different, if it would have felt more stiff and more robotic. And I decided to go for a sound that felt a bit more natural, a bit more lively because nothing in this entire track is quantized. So to wrap up everything that I covered in this video, there are multiple ways to add swing to your drums by using machine inside of Logic Pro 10. The method that I use the vast majority of the time that I do want to add swing to my drums is by playing the patterns on my machine controller and not quantizing them and maybe nudging over a few notes here and there if either I played something a little too late or a little too early or if I just want to adjust it because that method feels the most human to me and also that gives me full control over exactly where I want all of my patterns to hit. You also can add a swing through the machine software itself either on the master level, the group level, or the individual sound level and that also will give you a really quick and easy result other than having to export all of the sounds from the machine plugin to Logic, specifically for people who use machine as a plugin inside of Logic. For me, I personally don't prefer swinging my drums that way because that gets rid of some of the control. And also there's the extra step of having to export all of the WAV files instead of just being able to drag the entire pattern out as a MIDI like this. Either way, I presented both of these techniques so that way you can see the different possibilities that are available to you. And that way you're able to choose the best technique for your personal sound and your personal workflow. So now you just learned how to quickly swing your drums by using machine inside of Logic Pro 10.
Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. Also, if you are interested in signing up with DistroKid, I would greatly appreciate it if you went down into the description of this video and use my affiliate link to get a 7% discount off of your first year with them. Furthermore, if you would like to use the machine template that I used in this video, you also can find a link to download this template for free in the description as well. Also, be sure to visit my website, lmarkeyproductions.com, where you'll be able to check out my music, my beats, my sample kits, my merchandise, and my mixing, mastering, and consulting services. Now go down in the comment section below and let me know what's your favorite way to add swing to your drums. Do you like playing everything naturally? Do you like adding it in the software itself? Do you hate swing and you just need everything to be perfectly quantized? And also, what are some other tutorials that you would like to see me make on Logic, using machine inside of Logic, maybe the machine software itself aside of Logic, or any other products or softwares that you would like to see me give tutorials on. My name is Elmar Key, Elmar Key Productions. God bless. Thank you.